Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be sharing with you all some of my favorite scents. Um, most of them are, some of them I've had for a while and then some I've recently added to my collection. I love to smell good. I'm pretty sure you do too. So be sure to check out my description box for all of the fragrances. I'll link everything down below for you guys. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and I do create lifestyle content videos and videos related to my sister locks. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below. All right, so I have all of the fragrances out. I'm gonna go through them one by one. I will put the notes here on the screen so that you can see what the notes are because I don't know them off the top of my head. But starting with Bubble Bath, Bubble Bath is a really beautiful fragrance, and this is by the brand Replica. I've had this bottle now for about two weeks and this is about how much I've used. It does not come with a lid. This is how all of the replica perfumes come. It is by the brand Mason Mangella, which is also a luxury brand clothing brand, if you've heard of it. And I really like this scent. It's a fresh smell kind of reminds you of a bubble bath and it just really smells great against the skin i like to wear this um with multiple fragrances or by itself that's what i really like about fragrances that are great for layering you can wear them by themselves or you can pair them with other fragrances so i really like the bubble bath and i also like lazy sunday morning which is this one it smells really nice, um, like I said, against the skin. This one is more of a musk smell, in my opinion. All of uh, Replica or all of Mason Margiela perfumes um, are unisex, so these are for both male, female, or however you identify. And I really like the Replica line. I am obsessed, I want to add every fragrance that they have that I that I like to my collection. There is one that I am thinking about getting. The um, sales rep over at Sephora gave me a sample size of it, which is right here. It is the On A Date. And um, I haven't used a lot of it, but I like the way this one smell as well. So I really like Replica. I like both fragrances. I pair them together or I wear them individually or with other fragrances. And I just really like the aesthetic of the bottles. I think that's the other thing that I love. I love how these look. It's a simplistic look. And I just think that these two perfumes are thebomb.com like they smell so good so yeah i'll link these below from um sephora you can also get it from mason magella's uh, website but i'll link them below for you guys all right all right moving on to clean reserve this is the scent skin um, I mentioned this one in my last weekly vlog, but I'll still include the notes here for you guys. Love this perfume. It smells so, so, so good. Like, I I don't know, it's a floral musk. That is the family floral musk. And you can definitely pick up on the floral notes, but this perfume reminds me of something that I've had before. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it just, it smells familiar. And I like Clean Reserve. I did smell most of their fragrances when I was at Sephora and I didn't really care for a lot of them, but this one was the one that I was like, I gotta have it. So this is linked below for you guys. I love the smell. It's given off a floral vibe, but it's also given off something else. And I like perfumes or scents that remind me of memories, remind me of something. Um, so reflection is like a big part of who I am. So this is giving, it's, it's, I can't remember what fragrance I've worn that reminds me of this, but it smells so good. So I'll link this one down below, but I do recommend smelling the other Clean Reserve fragrances because they have a like a huge line of smells um, on the website for sure. They have all of the fragrances that you can find in Sephora, but they also have fragrances online that you can't find anywhere else. So that's what make them unique in their um, in their fragrance line. I really like that because 
that's more like exclusive so i am going to go online and probably purchase there is one that my friend mentioned that i think i'm going to try to get once it comes back in stock but i like the skin skin is definitely it's it's a really great perfume and i also like the bottle it's a very clean aesthetic again it has uh this faux wood top and you all know that i love wood we literally have like a farmhouse theme home so wood elements it's just my jam so i like this check it out it's it smells really good okay okay so last but not least for what's new this is not really new i've had this for a while but i've have had it a shorter length of time than the ones i'm going to show you next so this is the joe malone mimosa and cardamom um cardamom and i love this perfume you all have seen this in a um i think this was a favorites video i love this it smells so good like i love it it smells really good and the beauty about most of the perfumes that i own all of them smell different in their own way and that's really what i go for or look for i don't want something that smells like what i already own i want something that's new that's going to give me a different fragrance every time i wear it and joe malone is when if i had to put like a brand like if i had to rate brands in terms of like fragrances joe malone is up there they have done a phenomenal job with most most of their scents i smelled i think at least 10 perfumes before like settling on this one or buying this one and there were so many others that i could have purchased i also own the joe malone um these are the the lotions i want to say i've shared these with you but i'm not sure but i actually received this in a gift um, when I was in a wedding a few years ago, the bride gifted me these lotions and all of them smell amazing. I do have one of them in my purse, so I do carry them. But Jo Malone is really up there. They have, in addition to perfumes and lotions, they also make um, bath like bath oils and I'm thinking about purchasing a few of their bath oils, but it's just a top tier chef's kiss brand like they're up there i really like joe malone and i am thinking about investing in more of their perfumes um joe malone is like i think this bottle was like 180 if i'm not mistaken it was like 180 so it's not bad it's not the price point is not bad it's just one of those things where i have to really like something in order to spend that type of money but joe malone is like chef's kiss like top tier i love it all right, so moving on to perfumes that I have had in my collection that I have to have a part of my collection. And there are two. The first one being the um, Jador. This is Jador by Christian Dior. And I have been in love with this perfume for a very long time. My first one, I think I got like 10 years ago. I fell in love with the smell as soon as I smelled it. It's a very classic scent. And it's one of those perfumes that I just have to have in my collection. Like I can't go without the Jador because it's just, it's the bomb.com. I want to say Charlize Theron is the, um, she was the ambassador for this perfume. And it's the bomb. It's the bomb.com. Like I, this perfume here will always be a part of my collection because I just feel that it is, it's a signature fragrance it's not my signature fra fragrance but it's it's up there with like my signature fra fragrances and i just love it so much i love the bottle it's very unique of course this is a little bit more upscale than the other bottles in terms of the aesthetic but i just love it i love this little um ball here at the top and then the gold it's very luxe this bottle gives very luxe and i just love it i love the vibe of it i love the smell of it and she will always she will always be a part of my collection all right and last but not least this is um estabelle la vie i think it's from the brand lancome this is also another fave um this perfume i have owned i think this is like my second bottle my first bottle was a smaller one 
So whenever I purchased it the next time I went all out, I love this perfume. Julia Roberts is the ambassador for this particular perfume. And when I say this perfume smells good, um, my friend and I were in Nordstrom's about a year ago and she was looking for perfumes and I had told her about this one. And when she smelled it, she was like, oh my gosh. Like she fell in love with it and she bought it. She bought it on, on the spot. It's just a really nice perfume. It's a little bit more luxe than the others, like I, like the ones that I showed you first. Um, but this perfume will always be a part of my collection because I just consider it a staple, a part of my fragrance collection. So I really like this one and um, it just, it smells really good. And like I said, I'll try to include all of the notes for each of the perfumes so that you can see what's what they're made of. I'm not really like a fragrance connoisseur, so I really can't pick up on the smells and all of that, but I can tell you that they smell good and I can also recommend that you go smell them for yourself to see if you like them. Everybody has a different, um, everybody likes different scents. That's the reason why all of my fragrances vary in terms of what they smell like. And the beauty about all of my perfumes, I can wear them together. And that's really what I'm looking for whenever I buy perfumes. I want it to pair well with everything that I own because I don't like smelling like someone else. So I like to mix and match. So that's all that I have for you. I do have other fragrances in my collection, but I can always save them for another video depending on if you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to leave me a comment down below if you have any of these perfumes a part of your collection or if you plan to go and check these fragrances out for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you babes in my next one. Peace for now. Bye.